Good morning and welcome to Rising. We have a show of staggering genius today, Robbie. Do we not? It says impressive on the screen. Yeah, but I so, think it's going to be a heartbreaking show of staggering genius. Wow, we're upgrading right in, in live. We are. It's it amazing. just got better. It just got better. Well, well, you're gonna, we're going to blow your socks off with this because we have Newsweek Deputy Opinion Editor Batya Ankar Sargan here with us to discuss the protests in Ottawa. And Abby Deshman of the Canadian Civil Liberties Association will join us to argue that the Canadian government did not meet the threshold for invoking the Emergencies Act. Right now, however, we want to go over some major news regarding the Jeffrey Epstein saga that came out over the weekend. Jean-Luc Brunel, a former French modeling agent who was charged with the rape of minors and was suspected of scouting girls for Epstein, was found dead in his Paris jail cell on Saturday. Virginia Giuffre commented on the matter on Twitter, saying, The suicide of Jean-Luc Brunel, who abused me and countless girls and young women, ends another chapter. I'm disappointed that I wasn't able to face him in a final trial to hold him accountable, but gratified that I was able to testify in person last year to keep him in prison. Filings in a federal court in New York showed Giffray alleged that Brunel would offer modeling jobs to girls as young as 12 and take them to the U.S. to, quote, farm them out to his friends, especially Epstein. Disgusting. Officials said that Brunel died in what appeared to be a suicide by hanging. The 76-year-old was detained back in December 2020 over allegations of rape and abuse. The investigation was a preliminary inquiry to see if Epstein had any French victims or had committed sex crimes on French territory. Brunel had been described as Epstein's best mate and pimp and is believed to be a key member of Epstein's inner circle. Ugh, gross. So they tying up loose ends here? Is that what's going on? <laughs> well, I'm very excited for no the... No pun intended. For the me Oh, God. I'm it, excited for the memes was of, not intended. of Hillary Clinton sneaking out of France or something, <laughs> right. right? Yeah, where was Hillary Maybe Clinton? Maybe wearing like, uh, like, a, like uh, the, the, the beret or something. Where was she over the weekend? <laughs> Doing a little yeah. uh, Paris sightseeing, little Eiffel Tower. She's conspicuously taking selfies of herself in the woods in, uh, yes. in upstate New York. Yes. I was not in Paris over the weekend. No, but so in all honesty, this shows it's very easy to kill yourself in prison. That, that because is a, prisons that is a are scandal. Places, uh, places of neglect and yeah. deep indifference to the suffering, to the needs, to whatever. Obviously, we're not sympathetic to this person, but people die in prison all the time. They really right. do. And uh, Maxwell has been put on a suicide alert, which her family uh, is saying has her being woken up every 15 minutes, which to me... It sounds like something they would do. ...would push me over the edge. Right, right. Like, well, these conditions if, are if terrible. If somebody's I mean, sleeping, then they are at that moment not a suicide risk. Let almost them sleep. Almost by definition. Yeah, let, let them sleep. If people, people in solitary, right, they're often in rooms by themselves, bright lights, 23 huh. hours a day. It's yeah. miserable. It's torture. Yes, con constant, constant noise just to keep them from sleeping. It's torture. Another thing that his case shows is the, the failure and the inability to get these cases to trial. Like he's been in detention since 2020. Like you said, no sympathy for this particular character who, if he's guilty of what he was uh, accused of, has ruined you know, hundreds of people's lives, more than a thousand, according, according to Jufre and, and yeah. others. Uh, Bring him but to who, trial. Who, like, but by the way, who lets your 12-year-old get on a plane with this guy to travel from France to America? Well, you know, if... Is that wrong to, I, like... I think if you're... Is if, there no parental responsibility here? If you, so let's say you're some charismatic French talent agent, and you're telling the parents that, you know, there is, you know, child modeling is a thing. Uh, a gross you know, thing. This, this guy was, you know, known in these fashion circles or whatever as, like... A, yeah. t a ticket to fame and celebrity. Right. He obviously, th and this is the other key thing. Yeah, we're gonna swing by Michael Jackson's estate on the way home. Like, come on, well, people. Michael Jackson, yes, but like his his interactions with celebrities and powerful people. We now know it as, oh, this was the sex trafficking ring for the global elites. At the time, it seemed like, oh, he's friends with Bill Clinton. What could go wrong? Okay, Bill Clinton's not a good example. <laughs> He's friends with fill in the All blank. All these people are monsters. Fill in the blank responsible celebrity. Yeah. And that, that something about that power, that fame, that yeah. fortune can, can allow parents to think, okay, like this person, 
the, the entire global elite can't be involved in a human trafficking Unless, like, ring. Unless that would be impossible. Is at the party? It's not a safe environment. Right. Or if Mitt's if <laughs> Mitt's, if Mitt's there, Mitt's you're there good. will vouch for it. <laughs> the, the fruit punch will be fine to drink. <laughs> Jesus. Well, after Epstein committed suicide in 2019, Brunel and Galen Maxwell were traced to the Brazilian Riviera. Brunel's suicide comes as Prince Andrew agreed to settle with Gaffre, who accused the royal of sex abuse after she was trafficked by Epstein and Maxwell. Gaffre has claimed Brunel procured more than a thousand women and girls for Epstein to sleep with. She also alleged that Andrew once watched a photo shoot Brunel had set up with seven Russian girls. Ghislaine Maxwell's family are reportedly scared for Ghislaine's safety at the Brooklyn Detention Center where she is currently being held. Maxwell's brother Ian told the New York Post, quote, another death by hanging in a high security prison. My reaction is one of total shock and bewilderment. Controversy over Epstein's death has been fueled by the fact that prison video cameras, of course, at Manhattan's Correction Center were not running at the time Epstein died in his cell. Brunel is thought to have died alone, and conveniently, there were no cameras to record his final hours there either, Robbie. I mean, as we know, things are constantly breaking in these prisons because nobody cares about the people who are in them. The series of coincidences does just right. dare somebody yeah. to not just go directly to the most obvious answer. Right. I mean, the part of it that is hard to believe is not actually the stuff happening in the prisons because this is very routine for prisons to be unsafe places, for people to die in them, to be neglected, abused, forgotten about, etc. The part of the whole um, Epstein saga that is, is hard to believe is the oh my god, all these rich and famous people were involved and knew for years and years and years and there's all this evidence of it and it's was just so obvious in everyone's faces, and they got away for, with it for decades, and there's been very little accountability. And everybody involved in it is dying. Yeah. I mean, this is yeah. the, 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 these are the facts. Like, yeah. all of these people were involved in it. It looked for a second, one hot second, like it might actually be exposed and there might be accountability. Then Epstein died. Uh, then, you know, we've got some settlements here and there. Then we've got Jean Locke dying. Uh, you might get a mistrial with. Ghislaine, yeah. Ghislaine Maxwell, I don't understand what's taking so long on that. They're, I mean, they're just hoping that she just dies of whatever misery she's in. At let's, this. let's shut down the whole French preteen modeling uh, industry yeah. until we no. figure out what's going yeah. on, please. Yeah, this I does think, not seem like a safe thing. Uh, there's not much good coming out of that. <laughs> no. no. No, it doesn't seem shut, necessary. No, shut that whole thing down. So, are there, are there more of these Cretans h hanging about in prisons? In is, is the is the is the Italian Epstein in some <laughs> prison somewhere? Are they are the well? I mean, Ghislaine has talked about the man's utterly like insatiable sex addiction, and more than a th you know more than a thousand right here. So yes, uh, I would suspect that this is not the only kind of pimp that he's that he's got around the world. This is. You know, he was constantly flying on his little, we won't even discuss what the airplane was called. Uh, anyway, so yes, probably So Hillary, more. Hillary's gotten some vacations coming up is what you're the saying. The miles. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, another, week, another weekend in Milan. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, we'll tell you what's on our radars coming up next. Stay with us.